Hello there friends, today is March 14, 2024 and today we are going to discuss these 2023 Panini Donruss press proofs. We've got five of them that we're going to discuss. We'll uh, decide, well, through comps that is, what they are worth, uh, fair market value, first offer, second offer, final offer as well. So uh, hopefully this helps you decide what your card is worth or what the card that you are targeting is worth as well. Let's talk about this chart here. So up top, we have all the information you need. Obviously, 2023 Panini Donruss card number 339. This is basically the rated rookie if you have that in the base set. But we're talking strictly press proofs here. So blue is going to be first. As you can see in the top right corner of this table, I've also incorporated some PSA numbers. Uh, the number that have been submitted to PSA is 274. The number that has gotten a PSA 10 is going to be 14, and that's a 5.11% return as PSA 10s. Now, speaking of newer cards, like the Prisms or something along those lines, this 5% is extremely low. I mean, we're seeing some Prism uh, features going for 50% return rate for PSA 10. This 5% uh, is interesting because it means that those PSA 10s are going to be much more rare and probably have a bit more of a premium to them as far as the markup is concerned. Uh, the difficulty in grading this one obviously is going to be these edges. You've got the dark blue on it. That shows the white very, very easily. Soft edges all around, right? Uh, anyways, for the table here, we've got 15 recent comps. These are all auctions that were completed through eBay. And I only do auctions. I don't do buy it now. I do not do best offer when I can avoid it just because I want to see the bidding process back and forth to establish true supply and demand. The bottom numbers that you see here that are in various colors are the most important numbers to consider. Blue is the average bid price paid in order to win one of the auctions. So that comes to $30.04. Shipping average is $4.40. Total out the door is $34.44 to have it show up at your front doorstep. Now, these numbers in the $34.44 and the $30.04 are not what I would consider to be fair value because I like to do a lot of in-person shopping. I like to go to uh, shows. I like to check out card shops. Um, so when you incorporate shipping prices into the total, that's not really necessary when you're doing your shopping in person. Also, this blue number doesn't take into consideration that sellers have fees on eBay. So sellers are not taking home $30.04. They're actually taking home closer to this orange number, which is $25.76. That excludes about 13 to 15% in sellers fees that most people are paying. So the orange number. I would consider that fair value, but that's still not what I'm trying to pay. I like to do a stoplight offers. Uh, so green, yellow, red are my stoplight colors. Green means go, yellow means slow, red means hard stop typically. So 70, 75% and 80% price points are those uh, price points for the various colors. So first offer is generally going to be $21.03, second offer $22.53, and final offer $24.03. Still though, I like to get into the bottom third of sales, which means I'll sort this ascending, this column that is, and drop down five. One, two, three, four, five. $22.26 would get me into the bottom third of sales as far as price point is concerned, and that's right smack dab in between yellow and green. So this yellow, I mean, this bottom third number of $22.26 becomes my new hard stop for this card. I'm not going any higher than that because I still have to find some wiggle room to make a few dollars off the card if I'm trading it. I also just want, in general, a good deal, right? Now, if I want to sell in the top third, I go a five up from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. $29.20 would be what I would price this card at if I were, you know, throwing a sticker on it or $35, $34, I should say, as a buy it now to make, you know, about $7 in profit. All right. Next up, actually, first, let's go take a look. I don't think it'll matter, but I do uh, put together um, some graphs just so you can see how they chart out. But Mostly, well, I guess these sales have happened over a long enough time frame that we can certainly look at it. A couple of weeks or so, 
uh, nice little wave to it. Uh, as you can see, we are experiencing, you know, about 100% swing between low to high. So 1950 or so, all the way up to $39.96. Now, obviously, that has uh, that happens because of perceived value in the quality of the card. If the centering looks great, if the edges look good, obviously people are going to pay more. But also this 100% swing is where I can find my profit. This is where I find the extra dollars. If you have a graph that is just sort of a straight line across with very little variation, uh, that happens. I mean, go look at a Patrick Mahomes rookie card, uh, super steady at price point but that limits the profit you can make. So it eats into that margin. So uh, just something to consider as well. Uh, let's look at the next option here. We've got the green press proof. Um, this one's probably not my favorite as far as how it looks, but you know, it's out there and uh, something to consider. We've got 170 were submitted to PSA, 10 have come back as a PSA 10 right around that 5.88%. So not much better than the blues, still has that hard green edge to it that's going to be hard to grade. Blue, the average bid is going to be $34.35. I think that was more than, sorry, I must go back here. Yeah, so uh, definitely a higher bid on average than the blue. Uh, $29.50 is going to be seller's take home. And then we've got a green 2405 as your first offer. Let's take a look and see if that first offer is going to be all the higher that we need to go. One, two, three, four, five from the top there. $25.99. So just a smidge over this yellow second offer. That becomes my new final. $26 or below is what I'm trying to get my hands on this card for. And we're trying to sell it for about $31 or so. Make about $5 with a $36 buy it now option. Next, we have the, uh, we've got the red press proof. So this one a little bit higher again than even the green. Uh, so $37.42 on average. We've got a $32.16 seller. And then a first offer is going to be $26.19. Taking a peek here, sore descending one, two, three, four, five. $28.33 is going to be right between the yellow and the red. My new hard stop. I need to get this card for $28.33 or less. Can sell it for about $35.27 in person to make $7 in profit or $41 as a buy it now to make the same amount. PSA submissions, we are seeing 166. We've got 17 and we ticked up actually about double the percentage rate on the red for a PSA 10, so 10.24%. Uh, maybe these red edges are treating it a little bit nicer than the darker, darker colors, right? Uh, let's look at this graph here. Well, we got to change this here. Go back to sort of sending. Again, I'm sorting this by date. As you saw that sort of steady graph, that was just by price point. Um, so by date, nice little wave. Uh, we are seeing less than 100% swing from low to high, which is nice. Probably what, about 70% we'll call it, uh, but still enough options as far as that swing is concerned to make a bit of profit on this as a raw card. That is ideal. I like the looks of this red. I like the way this graph is operating. I also like the entrance point on it uh, because that will give me an opportunity to get it graded and have some value in it. And we're double that PSA 10 rate. Nice. So this one so far is going to be my number one above the green or the blue as far as my targeting is concerned. Next up, we've got a yellow. And guess what? I love this yellow for one real reason. As you can see, we've got an empty slot down here. This card is not nearly as plentiful on the market, which is perfect for supply and demand considerations. It's also not going to be a card that is has a huge markup over the previous ones. Yes, we're talking about $30 more, but again, we're having a hard time finding any of these cards to be available. So I like that. So $68.46 is going to be your bidder uh, sale price. $59.09 is going to be seller take home. First offer, $47.92. And let's see what gets us into the bottom third of sales. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five. We're looking at $54.34. So that is right in that red range. 
I have to get this card for less than $54.34. That is my new hard stop. Let's go about four up from the bottom. I want to sell it for $63.03 in order to make about $9 or so in profit. That equals a $73 buy it now if you want to sort of get some traction and turn and burn that one. Let's take a look at the graph. I'm really interested in this one to see how it's been performing. Uh, sort ascending. Did I do that right? I did. Okay. Now, look at that. So this graph is telling me something very, very interesting. This is why I like to, to put these together too. We are seeing a downward trend on this card, which makes zero sense to me because there is not nearly enough volume to satisfy that, right? The others were pretty, you know, we had a nice wave to it, but we didn't see a steady drop um, as we're seeing here. So that leads me to believe I'm going to adjust my uh, my hard stop on this. Looks like 48 and 51 were the last two. Um, I probably would call $51, this yellow 75%, as my new hard stop. Cool? Now look up here too. Uh, only nine have been submitted and one has come back as a PSA 10. So if you can be that person that, that gets that PSA 10 or a, another PSA 10, that is going to be very interesting. So I'm definitely in on this card. I'm definitely looking for options on it uh, just because, I mean, so far it looks like a great value as far as supply and demand is concerned. All right. Last but not least, we have the Silver Press Proof. This one's out of 100. As you can see in the photo, I kind of changed this because I just wanted to show everybody that's out of 100. But um, obvious, for obvious reasons, there's only 100 of these cards that exist. There's not very many sales that have happened on them. So we're looking at what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we got 9 sales, which is actually more than I expected. We've had 11 submissions to PSA. Zero have come back as a PSA 10. Uh, so that is going to be interesting when that does indeed happen. 258 is the average sale price. 223 is going to be average seller take home. 180 is going to be first offer. Let's take a peek here and see what the bottom third is selling for. 123, 172, 77 is going to be in the bottom third. Obviously, that is below the 180 price point, but uh, I'm thinking 180 is going to be my first and final offer on this car. Let's see if this one's trending downward as well. That'll be interesting before we make our call here. Uh, yeah, not really necessarily trending downward. We had a, a high point of 401 that happened and then relatively steady between that 197 all the way up to 291. So if we exclude this 401, which I'm inclined to do just because it is such an outlier, we're seeing about a 50% swing from low to high. So that keeps me intrigued as far as profit margin is concerned uh, between 197 and 291. Um, and again, I probably am 180 as my first and final offer. I think I could uh, swing that, uh, use the um, scarcity of the card. Uh, this would be a card I would consider just holding on to uh, as well. Um, but you know me, I like to turn it. I like to make the money. I don't like holding on for onto it for too long. And I think you can make a few bucks on it. So. All right, so as far as cards that I would target, I'm thinking I would target yellow just because of the scarcity of it. Not entirely nearly as scarce as the silver press proof would be, uh, but it, it's there and there's a scarcity of the PSA 10s. In fact, scarcity of even the submissions. I'd also go after the red. So yellow and red are what I'm looking for. Silver probably would be my third. And honestly, green and blue, uh, I mean, sure, I'll, if I can get a good price on one, fine but uh, it's condition wise and grading purposes it's going to be hard with those dark edges okay hopefully that helped you all decide what your card is worth or what cards you might want to target if it did leave a nice message down below i love talking to y'all uh, and i appreciate all of your support take care my friends